When optimum coagulation is reached, approximately 20 minutes, the curd is cut into cube-sized pieces using special curd knives called harps. On one harp, the cutting wires run horizontally. This cut is followed immediately with the other harp in which the wires are strung vertically. The second harp is also drawn through the jelly-like mass of curd at right angles to the first cut. The paddles are reinserted and the curds are stirred during the cooking or firming process. The temperature is raised very slowly to around 100 degrees Fahrenheit or 35 degrees Celsius. At first, the curd is very soft as it contains large amounts of whey. Initially, stirring of the curd should be very gentle in order to prevent crushing or damaging. Later, as the whey is expelled, the curd shrinks and becomes firmer. Firming is due to the combined effects of heat, rennet, and acidity. Curds must be prevented from collecting in the corners by using a curd rake. A close-up of the curd knives or harps, showing the vertical wires and the horizontal wires. The curd is becoming firmer and heavier and tends to sink to the bottom beneath the whey. Stirring keeps the curd from matting together. The ratio of milk to cheese is 10 to 1. One gallon of milk weighing 10.8 pounds yields one pound of cheese. When the curds have finished firming approximately two and a half hours, the whey is drained from the vat. The whey can be used in byproducts, example whey butter, and milk-based products such as ice cream and baby formulas. Notice the curd rake on the side of the vat. A circular strainer inserted inside the vat over the drain prevents the curd from escaping during draining. With the whey removed, the curds will quickly mat together and must be stirred to prevent this. The paddles used here have long, narrow blades, better suited for separating the curd. When the curd has been stirred enough to become dry and uniform, it is piled in two rows on either side of the vat, allowing a channel for drainage. Any curds that slip through the inside strainer are collected and returned. The curd is piled on either side of the vat. A rolled canvas cover keeps the curd warm. An acid test is taken at intervals to check the progress of the curd. The amount of acid present in the whey is a good indicator as to the development of the curd. A small amount of whey is removed from the vat and a measured sample taken with the use of a pipette. The correct amount of acid is critical for proper curing of cheese.